Hey, if you're watching this video, it means Telegram is probably blocked in your country or you're just having trouble accessing it. In this video, we'll show you how with just a few clicks, you can bypass any blocking of Pavel Durov's creation. Let's get into it. So you wake up one morning and find out that your telegram has been blocked. Here's a simple instruction that will help you stay connected. Android and iOS users who find problems accessing Telegram should do the following. First, turn on the VPN on your smartphone. This section should be performed once. Later, I'll explain why. For example, from time to time I use VPN Super Unlimited Proxy. After enabling it, we go to Telegram and the messenger should already be working. Some of you may use only VPN services, but it's important for us that Telegram works without them. Therefore, or it's necessary to open a channel which provides a proxy for Telegram. The inclusion of such a server provides an opportunity to bypass any blocking. The Messenger has various channels that provide proxies for smooth work. I'll leave links to a few resources in the description box, but we will look at one of the most popular channels on this one. It's called ProxyMT Proto. Click on the resource and you will only need to select one of the servers from the list and click Connect. Then Telegram will offer to connect to the proxy. This is what we'll do. And that's all. The server is connected, as you will see the icon at the top right corner opposite chats. By clicking on it, you can disable the use of proxies, add a new one, or share your list with your friends. Now, feel free to disable the VPN. Telegram is gonna work without it. It's important to know that many servers may display the sponsor channel over all chats after you connect to them. If this is the case, you'll have to just get used to it. I suggest you simply disable notifications from it and not pay attention to it at all. I also recommend you to add several servers at once so that you can switch between them in case one of the proxies stops working. Please note that after you add at least one proxy, there will be a new line in the settings, which will allow you to quickly go to the added servers and enable them. Besides, when adding a proxy server, I suggest you pay attention to ping. The lower this figure is, the faster Telegram will work. If it suddenly turns out that all of your previously added options stop working, then start all over again according to my instructions and find other proxies to bypass blocking. But from my experience, most of the servers work just fine. So that's it for smartphones. And our next step is the desktop versions of Telegram. It's simple there too, so stay tuned for more details. And don't forget to support my efforts with your likes and subscriptions. Only you, my dear viewers, can help us grow. Thank you, and we're moving on. Now let's figure out how to add the same in Telegram for PCs and laptops. The easiest option is to open the Messenger settings, then select Advanced Settings and click on Connection Type. Here we get Proxy Settings. In case Telegram isn't loading, try to click on Use System Proxy Settings. After this action, with high probability, the Messenger will successfully start working. If Telegram still doesn't work and you don't have any servers, then you need to do the same steps as for smartphones. Install VPN on your computer, go to the channel with a proxy, and add one of the servers to your PC. Over the last few days, numerous Telegram users have complained about poor performance of the Messenger. There have been problems with uploading media files, messaging, and so on. If this happens, proxy servers can also help improve the stability of the Messenger. Share in the comments how your Telegram is working now and if you have faced any failures in the last weeks. And that's all I have. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and keep updated.